right, welcome back. It's time for Youth and Politics. My name is Karanja Alex. And of course, just to remind you, you can interact with us on our Facebook page, Y254. On Twitter, it's at Y254. And of course, you can catch up this interview right after this. It will be posted on our YouTube channel, that is Y254. Well, this morning, we get to talk about something that has been happening in the political arena. Well, in March 2018, the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, of course, and the former premier, Raila Odinga, joined hands in the famous, you know, well-known, the handshake. Later on, there emerged the Building Bridges Initiative that completed its, its work and its mandated job in the, in the past few months. This morning, we talk about the BBI report that is expected to be tabled in the next few days or other weeks. And we get to talk about the aftermath and what exactly it means. With me joining me, of course, on set are two gentlemen. Karim yes. Montana. Oh, thank and you. It's great to have you. Nice. Let me just introduce by uh, begin to by introducing you, Oguda Sankara Kayasu. Yes. Our resident panelist. Yes. Karim Sana. Thank you, sir. Mm. My name is Oguda, as you've said, mm -hmm. and I'm here to speak these things, politics. Yes, yes. I'm a student leader at uh, the University of Nairobi, now the postgraduate students, mm. and I'm here. Thank you. Postgraduate students yes all right congratulations yes. such kind of people oh yes I, I, we need to salute you <laughs> all right right next to him is arnold endovo who is the secretary general at the day state university yes uh i'm also a postgraduate student okay I'm okay doing masters uh, uh in business administration all right specializing in strategic management mm -hmm. i think i can be of help to him <laughs> <laughs> but all right from, but um should compare notes yeah, we, we, we should we <laughs> yes should. Should compare. but probably you're taking different courses yes yeah yes, and yes. we are mm -hmm. we is is leading i think in private i'm leading in public all right so yes. that can be good yes. yes but at the end of the day you realize uh, whether you're in private or public all these issues we live in the same environment mm -hmm. and therefore whether it's economic issues they affect all of us mm -hmm. therefore it doesn't matter whether you are in private or public whether you're running a private organization or you are in government or whatever you are mm -hmm. all these issues affect us and therefore we must um, all of us dissect this politics because politics affect the three aspects of life. All right. And that allows us now to get right into our topic of discussion. Well, we have begun quite on a high note with the discussion with the gentleman, you know, becoming heated right now. Well, I want us to talk about the BBI report, which began uh, last year and it began in March. And the BBI task force has been all around the country and corrected all the views from the correspondents from around the country. From the nine point agenda, I want us to begin with ethnic antagonism. Or rather, let's just make it general. What do you think are some of the things that the BBI report will come as recommendations with? I think it should begin with you. Uh, I do not want to preempt what they are going to mm -hmm. come up with. Because one is, they will come up with a comprehensive report, a good report. Uh, but from what I need to correct you, uh, it's not that they went around the country and mm -hmm. collected all the views. Mm -hmm. There is a sample and it's expected. Which, which was supposed to be because yeah, exactly. they had opened the forum exactly. for everyone to come and participate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, however, you know, uh, we will have those people who disagree with those kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at the things that uh, they want to deal with, corruption, you talk about security and so on. But you realize one, one of the biggest problems, and this is my only fear, is that uh, we have good reports in this country. But implementation of that report. Right. And therefore, it doesn't matter whether they recommend. The only thing I think everyone will jump to, and that's why everyone, all politicians have confused us, is referendum. But referendum will not solve all our problems. All right. We, we, we're discussing about the referendum at the tail end of the BBI discussion. Ogunda, what do you think about the BBI report that is expected to be given to the president and the former premier? I saw some paper, some the, the local dailies, that mm -hmm. these people are meeting today to do the last touches on yes. it and then present it to the president. Mm -hmm. And now there's uh, the fact of public participation thing that they went around the country collecting views. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, according to them, is going to culminate to a referendum. As they say, as you've said, we are going to discuss that at the end of it. But I, some of our problems with our politicians, Why if, even the going around of collecting whatever is just a, a formal thing of maybe doing things, but they have what they want. So they won't tell you that we got this percentage telling us that we should do this and do this. So they are going so that it will get, just to guess the authority that they went around. Mm -hmm. But what they want is what they will put in that thing. 
Yes. Right. So it's politics. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let, let me ask this. Are you guys against the handshake or you are in for the handshake? Because it seems like, it's, let's just make it general. Are there any positive impacts that we expect from the handshake? Of course, of course. And uh, of course we have reservation. But we can say that uh, we, we have now that environment. What BBI has, uh, not BBI, the handshake has achieved is that environment where we can discuss these issues when we could not sit down and, in fact, talk about it. So that's one of the positive things that has come. But you see, we also question the process and everything. You see, you cannot uh, pursue something, you want to achieve the right thing, and then the procedure and the way you have structured it mm -hmm. has questioned. Uh, so you, you want to achieve peace, you want to bring us unity together, but at the same time, mm -hmm. we are seeing divisive <coughs> politics. We are seeing uh, it's kind of us versus them. Uh, when, and when you talk we, about we lose the meaning, we lose the whole thing. Arnold, when you talk about divisive politics, remember it's part of the BBI, the nine point agenda, yeah. which now, of course, I want to merge with inclusivity. Do you think there has been uh, inclusivity? No, I don't think so. Why, why would you think so? Uh, uh, you, you realize that the, there is a particular region mm -hmm. where people are complaining about these things. And therefore, you know, we are trying to be, the BBI is meant to bring us. Is bridging the gap that has existed, and therefore, if even uh, the commencement, uh, when they, when they have been going around, because the process started when they were formed, mm -hmm. are you getting? Yes. You realize when they were formed, the, these are people who are in, representing two interests. That is the the right owner of the former right uh, prime minister, uh, Honorable Brailo Odinga, and the president. And you see the composition, how it's coming out. You know, that's the beginning of it. You cannot tell us you want to bring unity, you want to include uh, everyone in your decision. Inclusivity means even the minority groups need to be included. All right. Yeah. Ogunda, let me come to you. Do you think inclusivity has been the thing of the day? Uh, yeah, it, there, there has been a problem of, with inclusivity since independence, even before that. That some people, some just some pe people are getting appointments, getting government, it was even worse during Moi era, where he used to say, Sia Sambaya, my Shambaya. Yeah, so that if, if you are not politically relevant, mm -hmm. then you don't get development. Mm -hmm. No, that is now the issue with exclusivity. Mm -hmm. Like you are, not, you are not involved, so long as you are perceived to be politically relevant or something, then you don't get the government services. Look at some... People who I don't want to mention who are campaigning in Cape Brand saying that if you elect this, we'll do this. If you elect this, we'll do this. And they're the people who should do those. So it's like they're not doing it because that person has not been elected and all that. No, inclusivity doesn't just only deal with, uh, with tribes and all that. It also deals with regions and the pockets of this city and pockets of other towns and all mm -hmm. that. All right. Uh, now let me come back to something I don't mm -hmm. want to flip about that we should appreciate and shake. Mm -hmm. It is important we appreciate handshake because since, how long has it taken since we had an handshake? You don't hear of political wars. You don't hear of people who are being hospitalized because of politics. You don't hear the deaths except for the Ganda one that, I think since since that's, that's there was somebody who died in Ganda when there mm -hmm. were altercations, right. altercations mm -hmm. between Aisha Jumu and mm -hmm. Samudi and people. And I think that is the first death I've had the political death I've had since the handshake time. And before that, people's cause of people are dying and all that. So, so long as we have peace mm -hmm. and we have serene environment for, for economics, even though, can you imagine, Alex, now how economy would be, mm -hmm. now that we are in this season of borrowing, you have deaths and deaths and deaths, and now there is also no political serenity. Mm -hmm. Like people are, there is political antagonism, people are fighting. Can you imagine but, but, the but state Okunda, at which you... Peace is not just because you're walking around and uh, nobody's fighting. Mm -hmm. It's not just the absence of... Uh, uh, of violence only uh, because the economy alone is giving us sleepless night it is but now i'm saying that if we could be in this bad yeah. economic state mm -hmm. and, again, and, and, again, and again mm -hmm. we have political antagonism we have strife in wars there's no political serenity in this country we could be worse off now so we should at least at least appreciate that uh, do you think we are stable what economically, politically? Yes, economically and politically. Uh, we, we are not. We, we are somehow stable and, politically. And Ogunda, you need somehow, to realize. Ogunda, you somehow need to realize stable one politically, thing. but mm -hmm. economically, mm -hmm. we are worse off. Ogunda, right. you need to realize one thing. Mm -hmm. When I cannot put my uh, food on the table, 
you know, a hungry man is an angry man. That's where we are going. So no, it's a dangerous part. I, I, uh -huh. I am not saying, I, I want my friend to understand something. I'm not saying that we are, ba we are good economically. We are saying we are bad. Mm. But now, if we also had a bad political atmosphere, we could be dying now. It could be worse. We are bad, but if, we, if there was no handshake, if there were strife that we had maybe 2017 and all mm -hmm. that, we, with this kind of economic state, we mm -hmm. could be worse off. Now, talking about that, guys, uh, uh, we, let's talk about even divisive politics, as you have put it. And you're talking about the economic status of the country. Yes, we are in the skyrocketing wage bill and the like. We're talking about divisive politics in general. And my question is to you, looking at uh, the handshake, between uh, the former President Moi Kibaki and former Premier Raila Odinga. And now today, we have the President Uhuru Kenyatta and then we have the former Premier. When we were these two, which one has brought peace in the country? Have you said there was an issue between Kibaki and Raila? There was, a, there was an agreement that was reached between the two of them. Uh, or the MOU, Kibaki. the Kibaki Tosha yes. thing, yes. or before the pre-election mm -hmm. pack. That was an MOU which mm -hmm. was trashed immediately after election. It was it? didn't work. It didn't yes. work. But now, you know the difference between that one? That one was pre-election. This one is post-election. Mm -hmm. Post-election yes. pact. So it's like now, uh, the president wanted the peace to serve, mm -hmm. to serve his final term. Mm -hmm. uh, Has it also been effective? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, who is it? have you seen the body size now of the the, the, the current body size of the president? I've no na kusawa like just peace of mind. Eh? Just peace but, of mind. But, Nobody's but, giving him sleepless nights. It's are okay. You sure economic the is person, not the president. The person who is supposed to give him sleepless nights, who is the opposition leader, is calling him my brother. Are, are you the saying time. all these handshakes all, about all your political or whatever? Mm -hmm. You know th that's what we are saying. You know the problem with the handshakes uh, that have happened in Kenya. They are meant to cement some political agreement and some selfish interest. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the problem we have. Because you realize uh, the, the, this agreement are done mostly by a president who are in second term. They have nothing to lose. They just want to finish in peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you go back to what uh, Rayla had with Moy. Mm -hmm. Moy was, you know, Miaka in, in his way out. Yeah, you get it? Yes. Uh, the one that, uh, the, one, the MOU we are talking about, the 2000, uh, 2003, mm -hmm. it, it, it could not stand because, you see, I have other ambitions. So if we agree with you, even Rayla agreed with uh, Kalonzo that we go for to this election, mm -hmm. and then the next one I support you. And then, do you know what they did? You break code, you come up with NASA. And then for this handshake, are I meant for some people's interest and political or whatever. Uh, so is it for personal gains, as you said? It is. Yeah, so but right. politics, politics is a game of interest. Mm -hmm. The only permanent interest? thing, the mm -hmm. only permanent and thing in politics, leadership. That's what we are saying now. The right. only permanent uh -huh. thing in politics is interest. Mm -hmm. uh, all others are not. There's no permanent enmity. There's no permanent friendship. There's mm -hmm. no permanent anything. So long as my interest is being taken care of, mm -hmm. then we are friends. I, I if do it's not disagree not, with that. It, one. It's not. It's then. The, the, it, it's all trust. Right. Ogunda, my, my point is very clear that what we are looking for is leadership, that you are going to use political avenues to get into this leadership. And, and, and we, we want people who can balance the two. Because, because if you can't balance the two, then if you're purely a politician, you'll be lying to our people. And that's why right now, mm -hmm. when I hear somebody say national government, why do we have devolution? Uh, and that's my point I want us to ask ourselves. We have seen Taita Taveta County yeah. Yeah. still... It, it's still in, in process yeah. to impeach the governor. Yeah. Let's talk about Kiambu County, still yeah. in the same process. Yeah. And the end result of the person will be impacted are the local residents. My question is, did devolution come to snatch away some peace or rather come to disintegrate the people from the local areas? I, I don't know. You know, this baby called devolution, I don't know if we, we, we are pushing the baby to grow faster. However, you see, we have devolved corruption. We have devolved bad vices. You know, the vices, we have taken it to the normal manage. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem is. But you look at devolution, I can tell you for sure. Mm -hmm. It has some positives, but mm -hmm. some people are taking advantage of it. Right. Now, look at it, 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 that the one you are talking about. Mm -hmm. they, they are arguing, you know, you are to give us money to go for benchmarking. You're going to benchmark in, in some areas you don't know, you, you know. Those are the things that we're talking about. Right. Uh, but, but if you look at, you, go, you, you move around, you look at some of the hospitals, you talk of Makueni, what they have really mm. achieved. Achieved, you know, mm. something to, 
brag about. Uh, right now, you, you follow the Kisumu County also. They're doing good things mm -hmm. about these things. So mm -hmm. you, you realize, but look at Shukana. I'm wondering, you know, for the, if I'm a governor, and my, the biggest problem for my people is water. Mm -hmm. Let me spend three years just focusing on water. Because if you have water, mm -hmm. then agriculture, then people's life improve, then you don't need even hospitals. Right. You know, those are the things. But I think we, as a country, you have our priorities wrong. And that's the problem. You, you look at the kind of infrastructure you're doing, and we're not saying the infrastructure are wrong. But look at our priorities. Uh, are we justified to be right now working on infrastructure development, or should we be looking at the interest of the people first because of the economic status? We politicize development. Develop, development is politicized. So okay. such that I dangle to you roads, I dangle to you whatever, that's when you elect me. And uh, it's not, that's the reason why Which you elect me as much. Right yeah, you, for, like for you are doing me, like now, mm -hmm. if I, let's give the analogy of driver, maybe a driver driving you to where you should be and you've paid him. Mm -hmm. And now you are bribing him again to drive you to that place. So that's how we've misplaced our priorities as right. Kenyans. Like we are, like it's like corruption has become an in thing in us. Mm -hmm. it's, it's part of us, like practically part of us. All right. so but that but we just are something you need to note mm -hmm. about the development, just, just, just to add yeah. what he's saying. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, this is it. This is the strategy. When you come up with a new uh, project, mm -hmm. you know, that's the only way you can get money because the other project, uh, you know, it's already structured and so on. So that's why you can see a lot of dam whatever, roads and so on, railway and so on. Those things uh, are meant for people to see for money now. And that's what is happening. That's yeah, why we must cows. have mm. uh, new projects. Mm -hmm. Every yeah, are these now leading to what you call corruption? Exactly. But you see, every time you hear of projects, I don't want to talk about the dams at the Rift Valley. You know how they end up. Mm -hmm. They make people lose jobs. And not even that, people lose jobs because they have been involved in corruption. Mm -hmm. And people say that you remember Kombe's tweet the other time mm -hmm. about the face of Henri Rotich and the standard and all that. <laughs> and then Kombe says that you have, like this man has brought down this country literally. And then there's photo of, of Henry Rotich. Uh, right. And he says you are using a wrong photo but a right title and all that. <laughs> all right. Well, that's okay. But I want us to shift for just a minute yeah. and talk about the BBI aftermath. Well, all these are seen so much of uh, rivalry. You know, we have seen Kieleweke coming up. We have seen Tanga Tanga coming up. And so much has been coming up. Others supporting BBI, others not supporting BBI. My question is, will BBI be supported fully for its implementation? Come in a pingo already. See, we are people who are already against mm -hmm. it. It's like I told you, politics run Kenya, mm -hmm. and there are specific people who play these cards, and then they say one, the and then billion, millions of people say the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know that in Kenya, a word like now handshake. Handshake is a big word in Kenya because some two big politicians in Kenya shook hands. And now everybody is talking about handshake. You talk about last week when people, there was bedroom politics. Just because somebody said, Kibra is my bedroom. Now every paper, every, poly, every radio station, TV station, bedroom politics, bedroom. Mm -hmm. it, the derby that was yeah. played yesterday was yeah. called bedroom uh, derby <laughs> between <laughs> FC and Gorma here. So, yeah. so politics, mm -hmm. yeah. it, right. it has mm -hmm. people, and people who must play it so that we, so it's the interest of these people that But, but just to care. say something about yes, the I same, eh? mm. uh, I, I think this is where the problem is. Uh, the media, religious leaders, and other groups, because politicians, you can be sure, that's their work to, poli to politics. Mm -hmm. So they will politic today, tomorrow, and the next day. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the uh, role of religious leaders? In this country, mm -hmm. religious leaders, I don't know what they are. They do not help this country at all. They, they do not shape anything. They do not come out. Because, you know, we are looking for groups mm -hmm. that are independent, that can give, um, you know, a voice of reason. You see, now media Arnold. are the ones setting this agenda. Mm -hmm. Now they set agenda of bedroom. Now they have set agenda. We are now thinking of Ruto versus Raila. Which, which is our next it. topic of discussion. That's but the before problem. then, there's, there's something you mentioned about, about uh, the religion part of it and the politics. Yeah. Have, ha, ha, have, have the politicians now invaded the church? So us to try and make now the church Very be true. political? No, no, they are politicized the church, and this is the problem of the church. 
I, I do not know why. Is it a question of the church or the politics? It's, it is the it's church. Both. It yeah, is the, the church. church mm -hmm. The church has been monetized. There's commoditization exactly. of gospel. Commoditization yeah, exactly. of gospel. Mm -hmm. So that the church leaders mm -hmm. are there to grab something. So long as you can put them in pocket, they are up for sale. Mm -hmm. They can sell for but, you but, the but congregation. But we have seen people saying that we don't want money. We have, they have come out clearly saying that money and these That's just cheap. bring it yeah. down. Every That's Sunday cheap. there is, yeah. you know, there is a, a fundraising for the church. And all the people who are invited are, are politicians. Have you seen uh, CEO Safaricom being invited? Mm -hmm. Have you seen? Mm -mm. Uh, it's a politician. Why? Mm -hmm. The money from politician. Mm -hmm. And then a politician, you know, when a politician sees a crowd, for them they are happy. Because now, and it, let me tell you, a religious is a very serious thing that uh, you, you can really kill for, uh, you know, your religion. And therefore, politicians are very smart. They realize when your pastor says, who you and your mutu, Every person in that church All right. will listen to Alex, you can quote me for this. You, you, you can quote me for this. Yeah. The only unifying thing in all churches is money. It's money. That is the only thing, like, the uniform we, thing. All right, if you are asked a common it, thing mm. for every church, for every religious organization, is that they ask their, their people but for money. But do you know money. that churches that have never allowed politicians? That, and they're still there. Yeah, That's like my church, there. like my church is dear, mm -hmm. doesn't allow much politics in it. Like uh -huh. you can't be given podium mm -hmm. like on a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. we, we but know the problem what is not is. coming out. Uh, right. They, they, they mm -hmm. are speaking about these things mm -hmm. because there will be it you, will you, be you, like you, politics. They'll be indulging too much in politics. No, 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 Kenya, no, no, no. Uh, you know, it's about giving direction. It's about giving direction. We will be looking at that some other time. Catholic Church is giving direction. I we'll be talking about the state versus the church next time. But for now, let's talk about um. Well, there has been the root of Raila antagonism that we have seen through the Kibraba election. We have seen the bedroom issue. We have seen Raila saying these, we've seen Ruto saying these. What is really happening between Raila and, and Ruto? You know, for politicians, it's just funny. These people in the evening, they might be meeting and uh, having nyamchom, and as we are fighting each other. Mm -hmm. These people were friends, let's uh, not forget, in two, uh, tw uh, 27, uh, 207. And therefore, these people are lying to us. They know what they are doing. All of them un understand the government and they understand the politics. But one thing to say is that how are we achieving the, the BBI? And you can see, you look at the, the Raila's camp, they are throwing stones to uh, Ruto 